Hello and welcome. Here we will do the postfix to infix in Python. Ok? So we will convert these into code. Let's do a quick review of the algorithm. First we take an expression and we will analyze each symbol of that expression. If the symbol is a operand, we push on the stack. If it is a operator, we pop the two sub expressions from the stack and if the expression main operator has a lower precedence than the operator being combined we add parentheses and after that we form a new string with that sub expressions and the new operator and then we push onto the stack after this, after analyzing all the symbols of the given expression we will pop from the stack the infix expression, the final infix expression. So now let's do this in code. The first thing that we need to do is for each symbol we will evaluate if the symbol is a operand or if it is a operator. I already have this function set up uh, to infix and it receives an expression, a string, it returns a result that is a string too and also it has a stack. This stack is implemented in another video and I will leave the link for that video in the description of this one, ok? It will have at maximum of 15 elements, ok? Our code will go here. So the first thing that we will do is for each char in expression we will check if is operand and we pass the char or if it is a operator because we have two types of things here in the postfix expression or the char will be a operand or the char will be a operator so if it is not a operand it is a operator okay we need just a else statement is operator and then we will do things here so first thing to do let's see what this is this is a function that I have here and it receives a char and it checks if it is a uppercase char between A and Z just that okay it's very simple we already did this for each symbol is a brand else is operator okay the next thing to do is if it is a operand we push onto the stack here again if it is a operand we just stack push the char okay the else part and this is the most complex so i will do this in step by step right and the first thing to do is pop the top two expressions from the stack so here we just have to do expression 2 is equals to stack dot pop and expression 1 is equals to stack pop just that next if expression main operator has lower precedence than operator being combined add parentheses and now this is where things start to get a little crazy ok let's try to do this in a simple way we are analyzing a operator right the char is for sure a operator and we need to get the precedence of that operator we will see the precedence as a integer as a number because we need to compare with the precedence of these two sub expressions also it's not the precedence it's the lowest precedence of main operator of these two sub expressions the expression 2 and the expression 1 okay first get the precedence of the operator p upper is equals to get precedence of char the char that is for sure a operator and this is a function and we will see this okay next thing to do is get the lowest precedence of main operator of each sub expression so we declare the lowest precedence of expression 2 is equals to get lowest precedence of main operator of expression 2 for the expression 1 is the same thing 
pass to expression 1 and we declare a lowest precedence expression 1. So now let's see these two functions get precedence and get lowest precedence main op. I'm going up up and the first one get precedence it receives a char okay and it will return a integer then it will do a for loop in this string that has plus minus times division and power of these are the operators and for each operator for each iteration of the for loop it will increase the result and if it finds the char that we provided it will stop it will break the for loop and return with that result with that number okay if the char is a minus or a division it will decrease one okay why because minus and plus have the same precedence value and division and times have the same precedence value is just that so the get precedence is just converting these operators into a number uh, something that we can measure okay so the goal of this function is to get the precedence as a number for a given operator okay and the next function is giving a sub expression we will check the main operators just and only just the main operators not the those that are between parentheses okay just the main operators and between those operators we will get the lowest value for precedence so the first thing that we will do is we declare the result the lowest in this case then we have a p count this means parentheses count is equals to zero Okay, then we start uh, do a for each char in sub expression and then we see if the parentheses count is zero and the char is a operator. Okay, if these conditions are true, we get the precedence of that char of that operator and compare with the lowest the lowest was set to a hundred okay so if the precedence is lower than a hundred it will override the lowest because because this is for main operators if the char that we are analyzing is a left parenthesis we add one to parenthesis count and every time that we find a right parenthesis we remove one from parenthesis count then we return the lowest how we know if the char is a operator this is another function and we go up and it just do this it goes to this operator string and checks if the char the given char is in this string okay just that so now let's go down to our code and now that we know the meaning of get precedence and get lowest precedence main up we can do this we can if lp expression 2 is lower than precedence of operator we have to say that the expression 2 is equals to left parentheses plus expression 2 plus right parentheses and for the expression one is the same thing we just copy paste and change the values here okay the next step is form a new string with two expressions and operator here again we just have to say new expression is equals to expression one plus char the operator plus expression two forward we have to push the result string onto the stack so we just have to say stack dot push new expression 
And the final step is the value in stack is the infix expression. So we will pop that value into our result. Here again we go, let me minimize these, the else and the for, and we know that after the for loop we will do result is equals to stack pop just this. Okay, now we can test our code. So I have already set up the test, I have these expressions, these are the postfix expressions and these are the expected result, the infix expressions, okay? So I iterate for each expression and I call the function to infix and then I print this, okay? So let's open the terminal and call python postfix to infix and the result is this. This is the end and don't forget that you can download the source code. I will leave a link in the description of this video and as always, thank you for watching.